didn't think we were gonna fit in this site. We decided if you can't beat them, join them. No, I'm scared. Me hanging out in a sea cave. I'm Tammy and this is my husband, Scott. We are two artists who traded in our home and art studio for a home studio on wheels. Along with Gracie and Jasper, we've hit the road full time in search of new landscapes and experiences. And we'd love to have you join us on our journey. Till further notice, our mission is explore, create, and inspire. That was a little frightening. Yeah, we just stopped traffic on 101, but that's okay. Anyway, good job navigating this beast in here. I think we do have the biggest fifth wheel on the Oregon coast. No. Right <laughs> There's toy haulers as big as us. But good job. This is our home for the next four nights. <sighs> Didn't think we were gonna fit in this site, but we, we did it. We're good. We're better than we think. Anyway, little breathing room and then we hit the big roads and head all the way up north. Time to undo the transformer and let the pets out. Well, turned out to be a good travel day. It was uh, no wind, beautiful, right. beautiful blue sky, yeah. warm weather, it's perfect. Perfect. And the animals were amazing. They weren't stressing. They were just like, it was like no biggie. From H Loop where we're camping, we've got direct access to the dunes. And you're just in this huge swath of dunes right at the edge of the ocean. It's a uh, ATV mecca here. Everybody's got ATVs except for us. Here's the dune entrance from the H loop in the campground. I hope the weather stays nice so we can go run a dune buggy. This is way too cool not to do. Pricey it is. It's kind of pricey. You can't put a price on experience. It feels like we're on vacation again because we are traveling. <laughs> Except for Sky, he's a little stressed, but he'll relax after we rent a dune buggy. That is the sound of ATVs going by our campsite over and over and over again. <laughs> Full disclosure, when we booked the site, they said you are in the H loop, which will be noisy because it is where the sand dunes are and people are allowed to have their ATVs. We decided if you can't beat them, join them. Yeah. We're gonna go see if we can rent one of these dune buggies. We're gonna go make some of our own noise. Yeah. thought I was going to drive like an old man, is that what you said? Yeah, you're freaking me out, so we're, we're dude. Gonna, we haven't even started yet. <laughs> no, I'm scared. Let's go.
more fun to drive than to ride. Can we just do a few jumps? Where, do you know how to do that? Yeah. You're gonna really do jumps? Babe, you were, you are kind of a crazy man on that thing. Yeah. Yeah, it kind of reminded me of my skiing days and I couldn't control myself. <laughs> you were freaking me out a little. Yeah. I, I thought you were going to be like taking us through a nice slow drive through the sand dunes and you're like trying to jump hills. No, and we were, we were fine. I could almost always tell if there was a cliff. I mean, almost <laughs> always. <laughs> That's reassuring. I'm glad he encouraged me to drive. It was a lot more fun driving than riding. But yeah, that was fun. I'm gonna put Gracie's sweatshirt on. She's going with us today on our adventure. We are meeting up with some friends we made here in Oregon. And we're gonna go up to Hesita Head Lighthouse. It's one of our favorite lighthouses and beaches. And it's not too far away from Florence. And then maybe we'll check out Florence too. So we gotta get ready to go. And Gracie's gotta bundle up. Are you ready? Are you ready? Huh? You got your hoodie on? Got your hoodie on? <laughs> Jasper, what are you doing? Are you staying here? And Jasper has to stay. Poor Jasper. Are you gonna hold down the fort? Yeah, you'll hold down the fort. Anemones, I found anemones. I had a couple couple of photographs I shot here what five years ago that I was hoping to improve upon, but I don't know if the tide's gonna allow it because you can never go back yourself to go forward. But look at that. That's a pretty big sea cave. Let's go check it out. Just me hanging out in a sea cave. Pretty awesome when the tide's out this slow and you can get into these caves. And the green vegetation, whatever it is, it's just glowing. Hear that booming? All the waves echo in here. And right above me is the lighthouse. We'll go check that out next. Don't Beautiful. break a leg. Is it pretty? Beautiful. What you think of Hesita Head Lighthouse? Pretty beautiful, huh? It's one of our favorite lighthouses on the coast. And the little beach is pretty spectacular. I saw those cool sea caves. And it's always fun sharing something with friends for the first time, because they hadn't been up here yet. So, good outing and a beautiful day for it. <laughs>